sitting in the front. He's, he's already pulled it, and he said, you know, the way you're really going to, I've done a focus group, and, you know, the way we're going to really box in Obama on this one or make Pelosi look bad on that one. I know, I, I like Frank. I, we've had conversations uh, uh, b between Frank and I, but, but that's how we operate. It's all tactics. Kind of a shout out from the big guy. I guess any publicity is good publicity. So I guess for Frank, it really doesn't hurt sales of his book, What Americans Really Want, Really. Um, Frank, did you expect that from the president? No, I was, I was sitting back. He starts off with this. And I have to tell you, I, my hand started to shake as he starts to get into it. I didn't yeah, think he realized I was in the front stealing that row. IRS audit, huh? Go ahead. And, and everyone has come up to me and said the same thing, but that's why I'm safe, because so many people assume I'm going to be audited by the IRS. But you know what? <laughs> He's got a point there. I really was sitting in the front row to listen exactly to what he said, to pay attention to the tone, to look at the body language. You know, I work for more than two dozen Fortune 500 companies, and I'm amazed how many researchers in my profession actually don't pay attention to these things. And he was calling me out because he knew what I was there for, to, to study the words and study the presentation, right. to learn from it. All right, so, but, 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 but you know, by I, the way, I, I'm, I'm only joking towards. on the IRS now, because then all these people come in and say, oh, you said the IRS now. All right, that's a joke. But, but, but now, he was all but saying that your panels and, what, and your approach to things is sort of a setup to, to hit Democrats. Well, how did you feel about that? No, but he didn't say that. Actually, what he was saying was that I'm no, studying the bite how to do I that. played and just I, made it sound like that, but go ahead. Uh, you know this stuff that we did for Fox back in the 2008 campaign. The three presidential debates, all three of them had Barack Obama winning on Fox News. And we still ran it. The, 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 the Fox Network spent six, eight, ten minutes on that stuff. And he knows that. And I've had conversations with him before about politics and about language and communication. Well, you gave him In your book. Can we show that again, Pam? I, when they gave him the book, um, so he actually got up there well, to the president. Um, and what, what was going on? What were you guys talking about? Uh, we were ta he says to me that this is going to be great for business. And I said, <laughs> it may be great for business, but I, don't, I got a whole lot of Republicans sitting behind me right now. And I don't know what they're going to do to me when I turn around. So you gave him the book. Uh, and and what did he do with the book? He, he gave it to uh, Reggie Love, and he said, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it in the next few days. Do you and think he will? he's interested in language. He's a good communicator. Neil. I know he's a good he communicator. He, he I'm telling language. you, he will not read your book. He's not going to. He won't? Read. Nope. You, nope. You just broke my heart. He I'm was sorry. so much nicer to me than you are. No, well, hey, uh, look, I'm just telling you, he won't read it. I think he does respect you, though, but he's not going to read your book. Well, but let, let's, let's do, do one aspect of, of what he said to Republicans today, because I think it's important, based on what he said in the State of the Union address, the American people want accountability. They want the President and the members of Congress to be able to work together to get things done, and they want to know that what you say is what you mean. And so for Barack Obama, and particularly the Democratic leadership in Congress, they've got a tremendous challenge right now. Are they going to get things done for the public, not ideologically, not politically, but actually, in a, in, in a sense, common sense? That's what the American people are looking for. And one more thing, Neil. If any of the people, any of your viewers right now want to participate oh, in no. one of these Fox News focus groups and get the chance to be heard, all they have to do is go to theworddoctors.com, oh, theworddoctors.com, right. and they can sign up. All right. Um, well, that's good stuff. And, I, you know... I'll tell you, I give the president credit for going into the belly of the beast, talking to these guys. That's it. That, that, was, that was pretty tough to do. He did it. So, you know, spoke to you. But, but, hung out with but you. the real winner today, by the way, the, American the real people. winner was Paul Ryan. Why, why, Paul why? Ryan. Paul Ryan challenged the president on health care, on the budget, on Medicare. The president listened respectfully. They went back and forth a little bit. The congressman from Wisconsin, and brilliant. Chaffetz, too. Chaffetz has some good questions. Exactly. Yeah. I think it was. I think it was good for everyone. I think the Republicans. But you did sold more well, books. You I, sold more books today. But what it's really about, okay. Neil, is the, the book American sales. people. Yes, indeed. All right, um, <laughs> Frank, you're good. You're good at what you do. Uh, Frank Luntz, the master, the maestro. Thank you. All right.